late 1960s when I was just a kid starting out at 4-H and buying my uh, first breeding animals and going on the show circuit. Dick at that time worked for the uh, Winnipeg Free Press and uh, he covered uh, many miles, covered every show and event related to agriculture he could. As a young teenager and a new young English breeder, I met, met Dick Turner. He became one of my mentors. Somewhere around 1980, my dad started working for Dick Turner as a field man and uh, he traveled all over Canada. Just In 1972, Dick Turner bought the Canadian Aberdeen Angus News for one dollar. Turner then sold the publication back to the association in 1989. Following the sale of the Canadian Aberdeen Angus News in 1989, Dick started his own publication called the Angus Leader, which was based out of an office in Lethbridge. Well, there's, there's lots of memories of Dick, but uh, I guess one thing that stands out after we moved to Alberta and we were involved with the Southern Alberta Angus Club, Dick was a treasurer for many, many years. And uh, we always had the annual bus tour and field day where we rent a bus and we'd take tours all over for different Southern Alberta breeders. And, and Dick was the guy with the booming voice. He wanted the time to move on to the next stop. You just give him a little nudge in the arm, Dick, time to go, or he, he'd be there telling us. And that voice, voice would just boom out out of nowhere and everybody paid attention. Dick was a fairly loud voice type of guy. Uh, at different functions like uh, Bagger Bishop or Edmonton Farm Fair or Toronto Royal where, where there was a gathering, if you wanted to get people's attention, Dick certainly got that done. I remember Dick with a twinkle in his eye coming to me in the early, in the early 1992 saying, Dice, we're doing a promotion for the Southern for the Bull, Lethbridge Bull Sale and one of our major contributors wants to have a special event. And I said, well, what would that event be, Dick? He says, we're going to put a bull in the bank. We put a bull in the bank. Went out to Saskatchewan one time to look after a sale for Walter Brown down at Carlisle, and Dick and me did it together, and Dick took the pictures. And Dick was coming along behind me and Walter uh, with the cattle, looking at the cattle. And if something stood still, he took the picture. Dick's passion for writing and reporting on Angus Finch events was undaunting. Whether it was his tra annual travels to the Maritimes, Agribition, the Royal Winter Fair, Farm Fair, it didn't matter whether you were a Prospect Farms or a Edmund Colazar. Dick was there and he promoted you just the same. And he remembered everybody uncanny ability very few people have to remember so many people and where they are what they do he always had orders at the sales the people trusted him his presence uh, at that events right across Canada he never missed anything his knowledge his ability to to uh, pass along comments uh, tell you what you were doing wrong and why you're doing it wrong and, and uh, you know not be abrasive about doing it. Uh, he, uh, he put on more miles, talked to more young kids like myself at the time, gave us words of encouragement uh, just to get in there and stick with it and do the job. Uh, he taught me that business is a people business. Uh, pretty much anything you do in life it's a people business, and uh, certainly in the Angus business. Dick came to me when I was a very young breeder and asked me to come to the Southern Alberta Angus Club. He wanted me to be part of the board of directors. He mentored me to become president. That led to me becoming part of different Angus and cattle breed, cattle boards. He influenced me to participate in this politics of the breed and the cattle business. He treated everybody the same. Uh, if you lived in the Maritimes or you lived in uh, Saskatchewan or you lived in Manitoba or BC, Dick was, was very, very well liked in the Maritimes. They, they even have a memorable trophy after Dick. He, he just loved the Maritimes and they loved him back. In Dick's years of involvement with the Angus breed, he was honored with many awards and recognition, such as being named a breed builder by the Alberta Angus Association 
as well as having been inducted into the Alberta Angus Hall of Fame, along with many other numerous awards. Dick was passionate about his family, passionate about what he did, passionate about the Angus breed and everybody that he met along the way. I really appreciate what he did for the business when he started. Uh, Angus cattle weren't as popular that, as they are today, but he helped to get them where they are. You cannot describe Dick Turner in one word. He was undescribable. He was a big man with a bigger heart and a total love for the Angus breed.